We've taken this very seriously, the whole issue of climate and the earth. So um, just very quickly, in 1995, we created a mission statement. And at the end of that mission statement, we said, and to care for the earth, that we would uh, give ourselves over to oppressed people, especially the economically poor and women, and to care for the earth. And so since 1995, we have been seriously seeing how do we do all of those things. Our sisters, since we've been here on this campus since 1812, have cared for this earth. And we are, the sisters who are alive now are the recipients of those wonderful things that our sisters have done over the years. So in 2017, we have a director of ecological sustainability that we hired in 2016 and she worked with us and said one of the things that you all need to do is really to make that big commitment and so uh, we uh, our leadership uh, voted to uh, go zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2037 in uh, the united states and 2047 in india we have sisters in India, Belize, Nepal, and Botswana. That was in keeping with the UN's International Panel on Climate Change, as well as the Paris Treaty goal of no more than 1.5 degrees centigrade warming. So since then, we've been trying to see how do we do that? We have 100 on the building that, if you look out this window straight across, we have 132 solar panels up there that we installed a number of years ago. That was our first effort to do that. So they've been functioning for us for a number of years. Uh, somebody asked, do they survive, do solar panels survive hail? Yes, they've gone through a, a serious hail storm and survived. It's another view of that. You can see the church steeple in the back. Then just recently we installed, and Salt River Electric is working with us on this, so we recently installed about, it looks to me about maybe 30 or so more panels on a building that's over on that part of the campus. So we've really been trying to make those investments in solar and see how we can do that. It's another view of that. And I understand from the solar that, uh, representative who's here that it's not quite up yet. We're still working on all of the, the hookups for it. We're an international congregation. And so these solar panels are on our hospital in Mokama, India. And the solar, that hospital is totally run solar now. And uh, that's for a lot of reasons. One. In India, this part of India anyway, the electricity is very uneven. And so having our own solar panels and the ability to be able to generate our own electricity is hugely helpful for that ministry at the hospital there. So they have the battery system uh, to back that up. So we as a congregation have been investing our resources. And one of the things that we said in that mission statement was that we will carry these things out and we will risk our lives and our resources to carry out that mission. And so we've seriously taken risking our resources by putting money and effort into this particular part of our mission statement. So here you see um, another uh, set of the solar panels. And the, on the right-hand side, that's a solar dehydrator. Don't ask me what it exactly does, but <laughs> it dehydrates something. <laughs> then in addition to solar, in order to reduce our use of um, green uh, electricity and uh, green and, and gas and that's those sorts of things then we had to look at the user end of that so trying to create as much as we can w with solar but then also how do re we reduce our use so we invested in uh, electric cars and we've installed uh, electric um, and those charging stations 
and uh, here at Nazareth. And then we also have a charging station in at our uh, nursing home in Louisville. And we're uh, beginning to invest and in our, we have a car committee that does the buying of our cars for us. And they set themselves the goal this year of buying only either hybrid or electric or hybrid electric. So we're moving in that direction, totally beginning to move our fleet in that direction. Just another uh, view of that. We also started looking at how can we use less electricity here on campus. So we have some solar street lights that we've installed and are seeing how those function. Uh, the, up on the left hand side, these are examples. Uh, that, those are on-demand de on hot water heaters that we installed in the building David Hall where we have apartments where our sisters are living and then also the retreat center uses that for uh, guests as well. So, and then our maintenance people have really tried to look to see how can we stop uh, polluting and using uh, and reduce our gas emissions, greenhouse gas emissions with the things that they're using. So we have invested in the lawnmowers that are uh, battery powered. Uh, you see the other equipment that they're using blowers and things like that. So we really are moving uh, more and more in the direction of that. One of the things that we said to ourselves in another statement uh, that we discern together as a total congregation is that we would examine in every culture in which we were, we would examine our lifestyles and we would scrutinize how we are living with regard to the earth. So we really are trying to do that across the congregation. So thank you all very much and you're welcome to the campus anytime.